Well, welcome to this product demonstration video for the new Oral Cube. It's an oral fluid or saliva drug testing kit and this is the packaging that it comes in. This particular product is the workplace variant. Uh, the catalogue code for this one is 71674F with ALK and it's a combination test. Uh, the drug abbreviations and codes are shown along the front of the packaging. So this will screen for opiates at 40 nanograms per mil, amphetamine at 50 nanograms per mil, EDDP, which is the first metabolite of methadone at 20 nanograms per mil, so that includes a very accurate saliva way of measuring and detecting methadone use, cocaine at 20 nanograms per mil, methamphetamine at 50, and cannabis metabolites at 3 nanograms. Now, the uh, cube varies from our standard saliva drug tests in that this screens for the metabolites of cannabis and not the parent compound and also included in this swab test is alcohol. So let's pop open one of these and show you what the test cube looks like when open. So this is the contents of that foil that I've opened for you now. Desiccant pouch to keep it absolutely dry and in tip-top condition prior to doing the test and you will only open this test cube just before you're ready to perform the test. The collection swab is individually foil wrapped within the body of the test cube and you can see this swab is absolutely rigid and firm. This is the swabbing sponge that if I open this up to show you is incorporated into the lid of the test cube. But the point I was making is this is very firm and rigid and this is the test cube itself with the panel embedded into the front wall of the collection chamber which is a clear perspex. The results window cover is here and that can be removed when you are ready to read the results. So that is the contents, this is the collection swab and when you're ready to perform the swab then the swab device with its handle is given to the donor and you ask them not to have drunk or eaten or smoked for 20 minutes ideally 20, it does say 10 on the manufacturer's guidance and the instructions that will be sent to you, but we always recommend 20 minutes before the swab is uh, in, put into the mouth. And then you swab this after it has been saturated with saliva. So you give it to the donor, ask them to feed saliva onto the tongue and onto the swab until they feel it's soft. And then at that stage, the swab is swabbed around the cavity of the mouth. So top of the mouth, bottom of the mouth, side of the gums, front and back of the teeth, under the tongue, and then you uh, wait for them to completely saturate the swab with saliva after it's been moved around the mouth and oral cavity. And then we'll show you how to perform the test once the swab has been collected. Okay, welcome back. Well, this swab has been collected around the oral cavity. You can see now that it's soft and squishy and fully saturated with saliva. So the process now for dispatching the saliva into the base of the cube is to have the cube on a level upright surface, place the swab into the center and push down and you'll hear it click and lock. Now if I turn that round, you can see that in the base here, the saliva swab has been completely compacted down in the central compartment and dispatched its saliva load into the bottom chamber. It's critical now that the cube is left in this upright position and you start a timer and the results should be viewable at between 5 and 10 minutes time. So I'm going to start my timer for 5 minutes and we will remove the results window and show you and how to interpret the results when this swab cube has run at 5 minutes. Okay well we've now reached the 5 minute mark. The reason I'm going to start looking at the results at 5 minutes because in the majority of these tests if they're all negative results, then five minutes is all that's required for that to be showing clearly and those will not change from negative to positive results during the further five minutes. Reading the results at 10 minutes is also a possibility if you wish to do so and that will only require a single examination of uh, positive results being indicated. But let's uh, remove the window panel here and have a look, see what's showing. Okay, now you'll see that I've also brought in the alcohol colour card for comparison. Let's just do the alcohol first. This is on the right hand column marked ALC and you're looking for the pad which is just below the 
color, sorry, the abbreviation ALC. And you're comparing that against this uh, color chart to read the equivalent BAC. And you'll see that that one is zero. So there's no alcohol detected in the alcohol test on this drug test. Let's move to the other results now. You'll see that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six windows here. And let's just run through. We've got at the bottom area, and you've got some indicative uh, results showing here on the actual front of the panel. We've got all six T lines showing, which interprets this as a clear negative result. And we can be certain of that because all the control lines are present. If the control lines weren't showing, the commonest reason for that is inadequate or too viscous saliva sample. And this test cube actually includes a panel here that you can remove to have a look at the bottom chamber. You can also just reverse it round and have a look to see. Can you see the saliva moving in there? There's obviously adequate saliva in here, but if there was nothing moving in the back and you had no control lines, it would indicate that the swab had not been saturated in sufficient saliva by the donor. The drug abbreviations are at the top area here. So OPI on this column, THC on this column, AMP on this, etc., etc. So you look at the various abbreviations for the drugs and that gives you the positive or negative result for that particular drug group. So very easy to interpret. At five minutes, if you've got all negative results and no alcohol detected, you can move on to the next test. If you have no test line showing in the presence of a control line at five minutes, you must give it an additional five minutes and read the result showing at 10 minutes. That is the correct and accurate result. Do not be drawn into interpretation of the color density, saturation or thickness of the test lines. These will vary between drug tests. That is a perfectly normal characteristic of all saliva and urine drug tests. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this uh, demonstration video useful, showing you just how easy and quick it is to run a saliva drug screen. This has been the UK Drug Testing 6 Drug Plus Alcohol Cube Test from UK Drug Testing and Drug Testing Kit. Thanks for watching.